Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today, we are listening to Halloween and Michael Kiske for the very first time. Uh, I chose a live performance from 1992, and the song is A Tale That Wasn't Right. Here we go. Yesterday. Actually, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. I love, I love the intro uh, to this piece. I, mm, it reminded, uh, what did it remind me of? Uh, almost like a dance. Um, I'm not Greek, so I could be pronouncing this incorrectly, but I believe it's called the Sirtaki dance. Um, but it's just that really beautiful, alluring pulse at the beginning that made me think of it. Uh, but then when the entire band started playing, I, there is a quality to their sound that is so full and so lush. And I'm trying to get a good idea of how many instruments are involved, but it just, there doesn't seem to be any, it's not lacking. I'm not wanting any additional sound. It is just so full and it's, Without being super boomy or um, overpowering, it just it just feels very complete. And I'll be honest, I don't know that I get that from a lot of bands that I hear. I don't know. Maybe it was just something about the this specific tone that's really resonating with me. But in any case, here we go. Back to the beginning. Yesterday. Oh, I know we'll hear a lot more of him singing later, but after hearing this, now I kind of wonder also if he has covers. Uh, so you guys will have to let me know if he does many of those or none at all. I don't know. Oh. 
Okay, again, going back to where he starts singing, uh, something that is striking about the way he's creating these vocal lines, I like that he sort of clips them. They feel um, very sort of abbreviated at the end of either a phrase or a sentence. And so when he has moments of really beautiful legato lines that feel very stretched and very long, it gives such beautiful contrast. Um, gorgeous diction. I understand every word. His tone has a little bit of grit, but it's got this beautiful twang to it that um, just kind of, having not heard him before, it really provides this feeling of suspense because I don't know how it's going to build and blossom. Like you can hear a lot of richness, but it's got just this little this little edge on top. And so I don't know where he's going to go specifically with his mix. That's what I'm thinking of um, in advance. So here we go. Here I stand. Oh, have my mind turned to stone. Mm, I love that stone. Oh, I love the way he pronounced that. Um, it just really taking advantage of that round vowel. I let me play this one more time. Oh, yeah, hold on. I need to back it up a little bit more. There's this uh, lightness that he's incorporating here at the beginning, which in terms of storytelling, I think is so beautiful. Here I stand Oh Have my mind turned to stone Have my That's, sorry, I won't go back. That's a great example of sort of clipping the word a little bit. Um, and he did it previously, but I forgot to point it out. I'm so sorry. Okay, here we go. There too. There too. Body you can heal. This is the end. What a satisfying song. The way it builds the whole arc and then hearing that gorgeous, gorgeous mix in this chorus, we're getting exactly the notes you want to hear in a rock song like this. It's just so good. I, so good. I'm already thinking, do I rewind? Yes, I do. Um, I know we'll probably hear it again, but it might be different the next time, so... We're doing it. That, uh, it's got everything. Just a little bit of straight tone at the beginning of that top note. Um, 
a very well balanced mix. I talk a lot about chest dominant mix and head dominant mix and I feel like I am not hearing um, one or the other. I feel like it's just super balanced in terms of the muscles he's using and so we're getting the best of both worlds. We're getting that beautiful head space, that head resonance, um, and we're getting these rich, boomy, luscious sounds, but it's very balanced. Um, and then the vibrato coming in at the end. Mm. Oh, It's alright. We'll stay friends. Trust in my confidence. And let's say it's just alright. I won't sleep alone tonight. In my heart. I need to look up the lyrics really quick just to I hear I feel like he's saying the word strong but I want to be certain okay yes he says the word strong and I'm gonna back it up because he's doing a beautiful trick uh, especially when you are in a place in your range that is just super high depending on the word depending on the text that you're singing um, certain vowels certain consonants can get you out of alignment and so I often encourage singers to focus on whatever vowel or whatever consonant is going to benefit them most and don't worry about the rest. Most often audiences understand what you're saying and so if you omit some ending sounds, they'll still figure it out. Um, let me, here, we'll, we'll start here. You hear how it just almost fades? He is still forming that word, but he's not giving us that hard G strong. We're not getting a hard G or a shadow vowel. It's more just strong and then kind of backing the mic away as he finishes that so that his tone just stays exactly where he wants it to be. And we obviously still get to appreciate the words without him having to overemphasize any consonants at the end. <laughs> last feel is pain uh that is what i would characterize as a head dominant mix i'm gonna back it up just a smidge so you can hear that So the way he says soul, that little, um, uh, what it, it's got that little whimper at the, at the beginning of the word. And I just, I love it. Um, also I am so amazed 
at where this sits in his range. And it's just nonstop throughout this entire piece. He is really tapping into that mix. I, the stamina and the control that he has to have in order to do this is just incredible. it at the time but I also really loved their use of silence before that last chorus it again with the suspense you don't know what's well I didn't know what was gonna happen so just giving you a moment to take in everything that did happen and then prepare you for what was coming next I really enjoyed that um yeah what a mm, as always what a great voice um I and the song it's so, it's so tricky when I'm discovering these new bands because there's so much to take in. And half the time I don't even talk about just the great songwriting that I am hearing. And it's just, it had all the things, all the things for me. And again, the fullness of their sound, uh, super captivating. So we will be revisiting them in the future. Um, thank you guys so much for this recommendation and for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.